Mr. Investalot, welcome back to the channel, baby. We have some explosive news for you today, and I want to bring it to you hard and fresh out the kitchen, baby. Let's go and get it. So guys, yesterday I was spending time with a researcher, and she was explaining to me about gene expression and what we think, you know, um, bio nanogenomics plan is and what they've been doing and then this study just comes out and it just blows my mind so today i'm going to be explaining in layman terms and breaking down why this study is important so there's a sapphire study that can analyze cancer regulation at the level of single dna molecules and it opens a promising new avenue for cancer research so i'm going to break this down for you today the best uh, way i can i'm not a genomics expert this is not financial advice entertainment only and i try my best to give you the best content i can baby so if you want to support me, just click the join button. It's only 99 cents a month. But if you're unable to join, just you clicking like and clicking subscribe is enough for me. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And let's get straight into the juicy details, baby. Oh, by the way, Richie Rich says hello. This gonna be good. Real good. Okay, we gonna be sweaty Betty in here, baby. So this study is revolutionary. It's the first to analyze cancer regulation. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, methyl groups, acylate groups, and I'll be explaining about how genes get expressed and turned on and how this study is exploring that. So first things first, if we look at the bingo stock, we can see that it's been coming down for the last few days. And upon receiving this news, explosive baby, it was up 20% at one point. And it's based off this article. So if we see here, BioNanogenomics announced today that the publication of the study measured DNA methylation the chemical modification of the DNA that controls gene regulation of the various regions regulating cancer genes on single DNA molecules. So the study was actually in Israel, it's at Tel Aviv University by Dr. Yuval Ebenstein, and he found the optical genome mapping, OGM, a bionano system, with the help and combined with a custom labeling method, it was able to actually analyze regions that work together to turn cancer genes on and off. So now I'm gonna explain to you what I know and it may not be perfect, but it's uh, the way I'm trying to break it down in layman's terms. Okay, welcome. All right, so as you can see here, this is our chromosome. This is what they've been looking at. They're always uh, exploring structural variations within chromosomes. So now there's two groups here. One's called the methyl group and the other one's called the acetyl group. And now these two groups are able to effectively turn your genes on and off. And the way that they do this is here. Small molecules like methyl, or the acetyl groups can switch genes on or off by binding to the DNA or to the histone proteins it winds around. So the methyl groups act like a roadblock, which is what they were exploring here, repression, and it stops the enzymes from reading the DNA, while the acetylation groups can loosen the DNA and exposes the gene so they can then become active. So this is basically to do with uh, epigenetics. Okay, and I want to say thank you to the researcher who was helping me yesterday. I appreciate it very much. She spent her time explaining this to me, actually. So what she was talking about was DNA is wrapped around these balls called histones. So we can see here in the diagram here, there's histones, right? And she was saying that depending on how tight they are bound determines how well the gene will be expressed. So if they're too tight, as you can see here, it's hidden. They're really, really tight, right? They're too tight, then you're unable to access it and it cannot be expressed, the gene. Whereas if it's loose, as you can see here, if the histone is very loose, then you can access it. The DNA can come in and access and it can express and turn on the gene. Gene turned on. So she was saying that this is very important for things like leukemia. It gets translated to an Ig heavy chain region. So it usually gets expressed. So there's two groups. She was saying that methylated groups represses the expression. So these can act like a barrier, a force to inhibit it. And these acylated chemical groups can come in and actually promote expression. Zoom in, baby. So what I was discussing yesterday with her was, um, what do you think the nano nozzle is for? And she thinks it's for this purpose. So we think that the nano nozzle is actually used in epigenetics and maybe that's what they were using there, the sapphire system combined with the nano channel nanopore device. And they were exploring in particular the chemical labels called DNA methylation. And as we can see here, it's very difficult to measure this. Only Sapphire can detect these long distance connections in methylation profiles because it's the only technology that can generate such long range. Single molecule data at high throughput and coverage. While most of the important information in our genome is encoded in the sequence and the structural organization of the sequence, the regulation of genes is partially registered through chemical labels attached to the DNA, as I showed you just previously. These chemical labels called DNA methylation can turn genes on and off at specific time points and in certain tissues. A normal cell can only become cancerous and grow excessively by taking multiple changes to the genome and the way it is regulated. These changes include single nucleotide variations, structural variations, and changes to DNA methylation patterns 
that can happen to the actual cancer gene. Now this is really key here. To fully understand how cancer genes are turned on and off, it is important to measure the methylation status of a gene, its promoter, and its enhancers on individual single molecules, which is important with short reads or long read sequencing because their read lengths are insufficient. So the study by Dr. Ebenstein is the first to systematically analyze more than 100,000 promoter pairs, up to 200,000 base pairs on millions of single molecules. This large data set enabled them to correctly distinguish between normal and tumor cells with an error rate smaller than 1%. So Dr. Yuval Ebenstein said, long methylation reads at such high coverage never existed before mostly because Sapphire produces the highest fraction of the long reads compared to any other platform. Wow. This data set allows us to analyze long range information on the single molecule level, which opens up a whole new avenue for complex disease specific epigenetic biomarkers. This study can be dramatic for early cancer diagnostics where the normal and cancer cells have a very similar genetic background, but the extreme changes in enhancer methylation distinguish the cancer cells. This data for the first time may allow us to discover new biomarkers and point to novel drug targets in places of the genome where no one has looked before. Guys, this is massive news, specifically for leukemia and stuff like that. So um, the way the lady was also explaining it to me, the, the researcher, she was saying, we are walking, talking, bags of mutation, and we can walk outside. And if the sun hits you the wrong way, you can get a mutation. But it doesn't mean that the mutation will lead to disease but it alters your DNA in some way. What's also important to look at is can the Sapphire system filter out all the mutations that we don't need and is it able to pick up on the ones that we do need to look at. So then Dr. Eric Comlin, the CEO of BioNanoGenomics was saying that while BioNanoGenomics is laser focused on bringing comprehensive whole genome structural variation detection to the clinic, scientists around the world are pushing the boundaries of what our single molecule analysis system Sapphire can do. So academics and scientists, this is really good for discoveries, right? And academia. So Dr. Ebenstein's team has developed a novel application of our technology, what contributes to solving unique scientific questions. The epigenetic regulation of cancer genes through DNA methylation of its promoters and enhancers has been difficult or impossible to study with the current methods that are limited by short read lengths. We are excited about the possibilities for discoveries of novel diagnostics and treatments for cancer that this application provides. So if Eric is saying that the Sapphire system is able to, you know, look at what can turn on and off, repress and express genes and DNA in cancer, it's massive. This is massive for diagnosis. But as Dr. Yu have said with long read and short reads, you can see something with optical mapping that these techniques cannot. And it's very important in these types of cancers, you know. So guys, let me know if I did well or not well. Call me a cowboy in the comments. And uh, let me know if there's anything I missed out on or if there's any gaps in my knowledge which I should explain better. But thank you so much. And I've got some great videos coming out on bio -nano genomics. I was looking back historically into um, the game plan as well. So make sure you look out for that. I love you guys a lot. Mr. Investor. <laughs> Sorry, man, I got a cough. Mr. Investor, baby. Over and out. Shoo.